Before I get started here, Dad, I just want to say one thing. This was originally going to be one of my text videos, but when I do the videos where I have text on the screen, you have to read what's going on. People bitch about having to read. So I thought, well, I better do a voiceover. Uh, but since I didn't have any video to go with it, I thought, well, it's just going to be me talking over text. But then I thought, well, people are going to complain they can't see me, so I'll put a picture of myself up, and I'll do my voiceover over a picture. That way, everyone should be happy. Okay, now that that's out of the way, uh, everyone knows, because I've said so many times in the past, when I do any filming, I do it with slow motion in mind. I like the way things look in slow motion. Well, I'm not talking when I film anything, when I film gun shooting, and not like when I film sex videos or something, because let's face it, at my age, sex videos do not look good in slow motion. Well, they don't look good in fast motion either. In fast motion, it looks like a half-inflated bouncy house got caught in a windstorm for 90 seconds, and in slow motion, it looks like someone filmed a uh, bag full of pudding slowly rolling down some stairs. So I'm talking about gun videos. I love guns, and I love the mechanical aspect of guns, and I just like seeing them work in slow motion when you can see all the parts moving, see it doing what it's supposed to do. So today I want to take four guns I just shot at the range and I want to show them in slow motion. It's just basically slow motion shooting. If you're someone that enjoys the mechanics of guns, you'll probably enjoy watching these guns fire in slow motion. If not, this is probably going to be like watching, you know, flies have intercourse as far as you're concerned. But me, I enjoy it, so I know some other people out there probably enjoy it too. Now, I'm not one of those fancy channels that comes from money or has a high-paying career. I think on my taxes, I listed part-time wet nurse as my uh, profession. So I can't afford a big, fancy, high-speed camera. The things I would have to do, the disgusting things I'd have to do to get the kind of money to buy a high-speed camera just wouldn't be worth it to make one or two videos. So I have to use my iPhone. So it's not the greatest slow-motion video in the world, but it gets the job done. Okay, first up, we're going to have my everyday carry gun, my Wilson Combat Modified Beretta M9A1 Compact. Now, to me, this is probably like the best gun in the world. I've waited, I guess, my entire life to have this gun because I this is the first one I've ever modified to have a carry gun exactly the way I want it. So first off, let's show it. Now, before I actually show it here, though, I want to say one thing. You might notice in the video it gets a little shaky at some points after each shot. Well, the brass was ejecting in a way that it was hitting my son right in the face. Uh, in fact, once it even hit the camera. I think the last shot hits the camera directly. Uh, and the next to the last shot actually goes over the camera and goes down his shirt. So you got to admire his composure for keeping the uh, camera on target until he was done. But just wanted to say that before we go. But here, let's show it. As you can see, the gun works flawlessly, ejects well, fires well, does everything exceptionally well. Uh, even holding it loosely to let it move a little bit for the camera, it still has almost no recoil on this gun. It is just a very comfortable gun to shoot. Like I said, probably the best gun I've ever owned. Now, if there is a better gun than I own, it's going to be this next one. This is my Wilson Combat Beretta 92G Brigadier. This gun is amazingly awesome. This gun is almost too awesome to ever take out and shoot. I almost just want to leave it in the safe and never shoot it. But it shoots so amazingly, you almost have to take it out sometimes. It'd just be a shame to let it sit and not shoot it. So let's take a quick look at it firing five shots in slow motion. So as you can see, did very well. Now, I'm not really shooting these videos in any way to give you a review of how well they function, but you can just tell by looking at that that this gun is smooth as silk. Uh, this gun fires flawlessly and looks great doing it. 
Okay, now we're going to slum it a little bit. We're going to go down several levels as far as uh, quality or uh, uh, aesthetics are concerned and go down to a Glock. Now, this just isn't any ordinary Glock. This is a custom-built Glock. In fact, there's almost no Glock parts in it. It is mostly Lone Wolf and a few other makers. But uh, want to take it to the range, see how well it does. And so let's take a quick look at this, kind of this Franken-Glock firing at the range. You know, one thing that surprised me about this gun, it fired very well, which doesn't surprise me. Glocks fire well, but I was able to get this gun back on target very quickly, much more quickly than I do an ordinary Glock. It was much more comfortable to shoot. I think that a lone wolf, timber wolf slide really does a good job of making it different than firing a regular Glock. So I'm not that great with a regular Glock. This gun did very well. Now, it did have one little problem where one of the casings hit the back of the slide when it was ejecting and then ejected forward, but nothing major. Now next we're going to move on to the big boy of my gun collection as far as uh, semi-autos are concerned, my 50 AE Stainless Steel Desert Eagle. Now I will remind people that this is when I was having magazine issues, so it's not going back in the battery. Don't panic, I've already dealt with that issue, I know what it was, so not a problem. But even though it's not going in the battery, you still get a good idea of what it's like to shoot this gun. Now, like I said, I am holding it a little bit loosely because I wanted to move a little bit for the camera, but this gun is going to recoil. Unless you're shooting like a 44 mag version and put some cowboy loads in it, this gun is going to jump a little bit on you. This is the 50 AE version shooting self-defense ammo. It's going to be a little bit rough, and sometimes you want it rough. I mean, sometimes you want missionary position, sometimes you want something a little wilder. I mean, that's why God made Valtrex, right? So you can have a little bit of a wild time every now and then. So if you're shooting a gun like this, recoil is something you're actually wanting. You're wanting that experience of a powerful gun that feels like a powerful gun. So let's get to seeing this one shoot in slow motion. So there you have it, an obviously powerful gun that is very fun to shoot. Uh, now one problem I did have with it is it was ejecting right over my shoulder, right past my ear. I could hear the casings whiz past my ear. One of them actually nicked my ear. Now I didn't notice it doing that when I took it to the range before. I know the magazine can't be causing that, at least I don't think it can be. So I don't know if that's going to be a continuing issue or if it was just that happened to be the way it was shooting with those loads that day. But we'll see with future range trips. So there you have it, just some guns shooting in slow motion, nothing fancy, nothing groundbreaking, nothing revolutionary, just something I enjoy watching. And since I enjoy watching it, I thought some of you out there might enjoy watching it too.